look like a seafaring scallywag. Are, are you Aiden's ship captain? Aiden? Oui. He say you need a boat? Yes, please. I uh, need a boat to get onto a bigger boat. And you are his uh, family? Uh, well, not ex not exactly, but I do kind of look up to Aiden like he's my grumpy uncle, so, you know, we're still equals, but he's more like my second cousin brother uncle father figure. Ah, still compliqué. Bon, let's go. I better find a way to disable this barge before Rampart hits international waters. Find the barge controls in the navigation room. Search here. Nothing in the vicinity. Gonna keep looking. Damn it! They're gone. Oh, what? Oh, that's a 
device diagnostic code violation. Shit. I'm locked out of the navigation controls. I'm gonna need to shut down the engine itself, but I don't know how to get to it. You like being hands-on. I bet your drone would come in handy for this. I am so proud of you right now. <laughs> I'm tearing up! Actually, I didn't want to leave London before giving you a parting gift. Oh, well, if it's of the peeling face-off variety, <laughs> keep it. No take backsies. You won't think it's funny when I return the favor. When the tissue necrotizes in your face, it feels like a knife stabbing into you. Hot, cold, hot, cold. But you'll feel it a thousand times worse. Because I don't believe in an eye for an eye. I believe in an eye for the whole fucking face! <gasps> That's not very Christian of you, Tommy! and ground this boat for good. Aye, aye, Captain!
grounded. It's not going anywhere. I'm picking up on a remote signal coming from the barge. And massive power spikes coming from the cargo hold. He's activated something. Something big. Get ready for a fight. The Mark II, piloted by a human. No broker bridge. Need. Oh fuck me. Care for a demonstration? Shields. Hang in there. We'll find a way to get them down. to make you beg for death.
until I've made you suffer! Just finish it off. Your little gadgets can stand up to this. Get back here. I'm not finished with you. No use. I can build another prototype. You have no way of stopping me. Oh, I've got one way.
You know, I didn't start working with you for the money. I mean, sure, I thought you were a spoiled asshole with too much hair wax, by the way. But you had a dream. Remember? You told me you wanted to see humanity reach the stars. We were gonna do that together, man. <laughs> I lie to you, you naive fuck. Prick. I'll hunt you down. And all your little friends back in San Francisco. Sitara, Josh, Marcus. expect you to turn him over to Albie in custody. Well, I asked myself, what would Aiden Pierce do? And then I asked myself, is that who I really wanted to be? And look, no offense, big guy. I think you made the right call. Even if I wanted to smash him into teeny tiny little pieces and scatter them all over the Thames and turn him into seagull shit. Well, progress is a journey. What's next on the docket for you? Heading home? Nah, I think I might hang around London for a bit. Wrap up a few things. But I do think I'll give Marcus a call, though. Actually, hey, yeah, I wanna, I wanna take a selfie in front of Big Ben and send it to him. Or maybe I should go to Buckingham Palace and steal a roll of some royal TP. <laughs> get him a souvenir. Great. Looks like whatever trouble you get into, we'll have to fish you out of it. Aw, that's so sweet. What a nice family moment. We really do make the dream team, don't we? Jackson and his two uncles. Two uncles? Shh, shh. It's okay. Don't worry about it. like the three of you got a lot done together. Color me impressed. Truly, I am a miracle worker. Yeah, if you lot are sticking around for a bit, I could use a hand down the road. One of my contacts managed to find a dead sick member who survived the London attacks. She's been hiding out in the north this whole time. We need to set up a communication link with her. No problem, oh Connie. We got this. Great. Once I've gathered all the details, I'll be in touch. Okay, let's say it all together now. Go team! Aiden, come on, man. Get us, get us in with me. Come on. Go, go, go team! So this is where our lucky killer Cylon is being housed. I guess these suckers are everywhere now. Let's do this. The bot is connected to an access point on a nearby roof. I hope you didn't leave your toys at home, big boy. Drone job. Got it. You know, we never actually discussed any plan or strategy or anything for this. Just saying. Just connect to the bot, deliver to the pickup location I'll send you. I'll supply the getaway drone. Don't let me down now. Remote operator detected. Manual override engaged. Shh. Don't 
Blow my cover, dog! If anyone asks, you're just an ordinary robot going about your ordinary robot business. And if that doesn't work, then we'll figure it out together. By your command. Wait, wait, wait. So you look like a new Cylon, and you talk like an old Cylon? <laughs> Jackpot! Operator status verification requested. Dude, I said don't blow my cover. If anyone finds out you've been hacked, it's no more robo heist. Just lie and say you're bugging out or something. You can lie, can't you? Not by your command. What? Oh, oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> Good girl. I mean, I, I'm assuming you're a girl. Whatever, gender's a construct anyway. I am not being operated remotely. I am doing this myself. Man, I can't wait to introduce you to Rex Jr. Name not recognized. Please restate. What, Rex Jr.? Aw, oh, now he's cool. And I'm sure he'd love to have a little sister. Oh, uh, wait, I'm handing you over to, to the fixers. To be dismantled. By your command. Yeah, by my command. I am an ordinary robot. I am going about my ordinary business. Hey, screwdriver, how's the robot handle? Oh, she's fine. She? And then? What? Can I help you with something? I'm a little busy here. Easy, Tiger. Getaway drone's on its way. From there, you'll deliver the robot to the fixers. They're standing by to get their new test subject. Disregard my actions. I am an ordinary robot. I am bugging out. This is a bug. Okay, Jordy. I'm here. Yep, I can see you. Just get the robot under the drone and I'll pick it up. I am not being... Rest mode activated. Good girl. Anyone tries to shoot down that drone, I'll shoot him down. By your command. Don't get too attached, crowbar. I got fixers at the dropout site where you can take this thing apart. Yeah, about that. Uh, I think I'm just gonna take the robot to the safe house and keep her for myself. Cool, cool, cool. You're stealing the robot? Are you fucking kidding me? I know, but here's the thing, okay? I can't stand by and let her be dissected like a frog in biology class. I can't let that happen to Wrenchalina. Wrench Alina. Oh, shut up. I'm still working on her. I think I prefer Brangelina. Control, I've lost sight of the target. Over. Jordy, you still there? Oh, yeah, I'm still here. Just thinking about which orifice to stab you in first. Okay, look. I can get you and the fixer the data you need without hurting Francesca. She and I have spent a lot of time together. I know how she works. By your command. See? You let me adopt her as one of my own, I get you the data you want, and we all walk away with our orifices untouched. 
Deal? I'll call you back. Where did they go? Shit! Control, put out an APW. Target is gone. Wrench, my fixer contact has accepted your proposal. Get us the data we're after, and you can keep Wrenchalina or whatever you're calling that fucking thing. Thanks, Jordy. You're a real mensch. And as a token of my gratitude, I have decided on the name for this little lady. No. In honor of you, Jordy Chin, I hereby name this robot Little Jordy. You know, I really don't like you. Let me just take a quick peek here. Ugh. Jordy, I'm looking at the leaderboard here. This Rad's crony must be loaded up with all kinds of crazy tech. There's no way he could have gotten these times without cheating. Well, you still think this will be an easy clap? Oh, it needs to be. There's no way I'm letting Mr. Big Corporation win. Man, I was almost expecting a crowd. Running through a race course alone doesn't have the same hype. Imagine the chaos if the contestants ran the course together. I don't think Space Bull Power Drink wants people dying on their watch. Right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get that dub. to be the best pirate you've ever seen. So it would seem. Almost there. Stay sharp. You still have two more courses. So, I heard you're trying to beat my time. Well, I can promise you won't win with your shoddy tech. Actually, I will win with my tech. And unlike you, you little corporate sellout, I don't need to cheat. Uh, Wrench, isn't that car-stopping hack kind of like cheating? 
What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Shut up, Jordy. drone course. Won't be easy. Well, Raj isn't the only one with tricks up their sleeves. And away we go. Never beat me in this drone race. My time was flawless. Good fucking luck, nerd. Thanks, but I don't need your luck. You don't need luck, but you needed to overclock your drone. That seems a lot like cheating, Wrench. Shut up, Jordy. And anyway, this fucker cheated, so doesn't that make this more fair? This is the home stretch. Keep it up. Don't fail me now, little drone. You can make it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Looks like someone's gonna get in trouble with Daddy Rads. Oh, shitting hell. Nice one, man. Another contract fulfilled. Fuck yes. And it was an easy one, too. Was it easy? You had to cheat to win. Yes, it was easy. And anyway, it was just some minor rule bending. I had no choice, okay? <laughs> well, now your name will be in the ultimate extreme mega insanity elite hackathon hall of fame. Congratulations. Yes. Free space bull power drinks for life. See the car. Wait, is that good or bad? You're definitely near a cloaking field. Look for a kind of shimmering, blurry space. Like when you get a migraine. Oh, I've never had one of those. Really? Try talking to you sometime. Found the ghost car. Except it doesn't have wheels, doors, a back seat, or an engine. Oh. Huh. Must be made out of the same material as the car. An early prototype, maybe? Or another tormented spirit haunting the streets of London. Ooh. The only one being tormented here is me. Get to the next location. Not even a hint. 
They're paying for their anonymity wrench. Oh, that explains why they want an invisible car. The ghost hunters of London are on the scene. Legend is, a car was brutally murdered here 20 years ago to the day. That's the lore? It's the ghost of a car? Spirit, if you can hear me, rev your engine! Me? What? It's a lot closer to the EM field we're looking for, but the shape is... off. Oh, come on, you can say it, Jordy. It's a ghost toilet. It's another prototype is what it is. Makes sense, this is experimental tech after all. Hey, would you mind muting me for a sec? I need to void my ghost bladder. So when you say experimental tech, who exactly has been doing the experimenting? You don't need to know, and I don't want to tell you. Oh, come on, man. It could help me find the ghost car. Oh, yeah? The Ouija board's not doing it for you? Here, you greased up little hog. I'm in range. Trying to disable the auto drive now. Gotcha. All right, get in the car before it drives off again. I'm in. Does my voice sound invisible right now? You know what? I know you want me to ask you what invisible sounds like, and I'm not gonna fucking do it. Radio when you're at the drop point. Okay, well, can I just say, I love this feisty, will they, won't they dynamic we have going on. It's just the... Hello? Jordy? you're gonna do with the ghost car oh my god none of your goddamn business okay because i've got a really weird idea oh and if you're wondering if it's a sex thing no jordy okay way weirder i'm literally this close to putting out a hit on you We solved the mystery of the ghost car. And we did it together. Sure. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to spend the rest of the day firing an assault rifle and screaming.
All right, Ratchet, here's the job. It's Wrench! Wrench! <laughs> You're doing this on purpose to antagonize me. Wait a minute. Are you flirting with me, Jordy? Gonna ignore that. Job is simple, so even you'll find it hard to screw up. Client wants you to steal a car. I'm sending you the coordinates. Ugh. Pass. That's boring. Sorry, Mike Ranch, but the client specifically asked for you. And, oh yeah, they, uh, they're gonna tag along on the job, too. What? Uh, I'm not some glorified babysitter. Uh, they paid a ludicrous amount of crypto to ensure that today you are, so get to Enter it. Drive now Wait, enabled. who's asking for me? Is it a trap? Jordy? Received. Jordy! Jordy! Um, for the record, I'm an unwilling participant in whatever deep throat fantasy you're acting out here, dude. Deep what? That's gross, man. No, it, it's an X-Files thing. I... You're gross. Whatever you say. The car I want you to steal should be nearby. Who the fuck are you? And why are you using a voice modulator? Ask the guy who's also using a voice modulator. Get the car, and maybe you'll find out. God, it's making my eyes bleed. I love it. Wait a minute. That music? This car? Are you? Oh my God. Don't tell me. You can't be. You know it, baby. It's the epic wrench and Marcus crossover the people have been asking for. Marcus? Marcus! Ah, oh, shit. That's almost better than what I thought. Wait. Who the fuck did you think I was? I won't lie. I was kind of hoping you were Jimmy Siska. <laughs> no, but I do have a surprise planned for you in that vein. This car is the car Jimmy Siska drives in the upcoming Devin Von Devin movie. Devin v. Devin. London Culling. Oh, my God! Is Jimmy Siska gonna jump out of the truck? No, Reggie, you're killing me here. Drop me these coordinates, and I'll fill you in. All right, so first off, you going AWOL without a word to your boy was rude. You're gonna apologize to me later for making me worry about your stupid ass. Yes, Mom. Now, tell me what my surprise is. Please, please, please! So remember when that teaser for Devin v. Devin London Cullen dropped? Finally, Devin Von Devin was gonna return to our screens, facing off against his evil British clone, Devin Van Devin in an epic showdown of Devons. Yeah, but after the London bombings, filming got shut down and they couldn't finish the movie. Yeah, they were missing a few big stunts, but the car and all the sets are still here. Oh my God, you don't mean. It's up to us. We're gonna film those stunts and finish the movie. Fuck yeah, we are. In a world in need of a hero, one man stands in the way of humanity's destruction. Jimmy Siska returns as Devin Vaughn Devin. I am back, baby. In his directorial debut, Siska brings Devin Vaughn Devin to the merry streets of England, where he faces off against his greatest adversary yet. I think you're seeing double. His clone, secretly grown from his DNA by the sinister spy agency Elite Shadow Force. Devin, Van, Devin. How can I defeat myself? Huh. The epic showdown is coming soon in Devin v. Devin, London Culling. Oh, shit. That sounds so good. I am at half mast.
guess what we're about to do here? I see a ramp. I see a car. And if the answer isn't, we're gonna jump a car. I am never speaking to you again. Hell yeah, we're gonna jump a fucking car. insanely expensive or anything, right? I'm sure it'll buff out. We've got some more shots to do. Let's roll. Ran Janet BFF Marcus Going to blow stuff up Yeah, yeah! Going to cyber... To driver, gonna be friends with Jimmy Siska. Okay, it's rich again, huh? So how did you know I was in London? <sighs> Just because you stopped talking to everybody doesn't mean I didn't keep tabs on you. After you split with he who must not be named, and can fall down a well. Yeah, touchy subject, I know. I won't put you on blast for it. Just, are you all right? What are you doing here? I hadn't finished business with Rampart. Remember that asshole? But right now, I'm gonna blow some stuff up and live out my Devin Von Devin fan fiction, and it's gonna be so epic. Hey, he's back. Let's light it up. Okay, this is the part of the movie where Devin clashes with Devin in their first big action set piece a showdown of epic proportions. I can do a bigger boom. Let me have fireworks. Please? Hey, you gotta run through and arm all the explosives that are set up. You need to be fast, though. If you take too long, they'll automatically disarm as a safety precaution. Speed run! I got it! Marcus, hit it! Oh, that's so beautiful! I just came a little. Every time I think I'm used to you. Okay, I want star wipes on this, Marcus. We're making art here.
coming soon in the next chapter of the Devon Von Devon saga. You're not the man I thought you were, Devon. That's because it wasn't me. It was Devon, my evil clone. He has been using my fingerprints to fool the scanner. He has my fingerprints. He is me. Face it, Devon. You're being replaced by a superior version. I don't think so. Nothing beats American made. Hey, man. Do you think there's a chance that Devin v. Devin, London Culling, could end with Devin Von Devin losing? What? No way. There is literally nothing that can take Devin Von Devin down. Except for himself? Huh? Why else did they clone him? Who wins in a death match between Jimmy Siska and Jimmy Siska? It's, it's an impossible riddle! But his clone is not the same as him. It's not actually Devin versus himself. It's like Alien versus Predator. You know who's going to win. Oh, fuck, not this again. The Xenomorph has acid blood, Marcus. It melts through the Predator's armor. Nah, fuck you. The Predator has a stealth cloak and thermal vision and fucking rocket launchers. The Predator is the greatest hunter in the galaxy. The Xenomorph is just big game. I am turning this car around, young man. Knockoff Cylons come from? They're Rampart bots. And how do I get this guy That's off my ass? Well, they look angry and armed. Hey, let's get out of here. Maybe we can find a different place to set up. No way. I'm not letting Rampart take Devin Von Devin away from me, too. The show must go on. Ultrasonic blast. carbon fiber in the morning. Woohoo! That's the money shot. Oh, I guess there are robots in Devin v. Devin now. Hell yeah, dude. This is like a punch up to the script. Maybe we'll get writing credits for improving the third act. <laughs> you know, I can see us looking fresh as hell on the red carpet premiere. Jimmy Siska's crew. And you'll add Star Wipes? And a Benga soundtrack. I got you, Reggie. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wrench. Eh, you can get away with it. You coming home soon? Um, maybe. I've still got to do some stuff here. All right. Well, when you get your scrawny ass back to San Fran, hit me up. Everybody's been waiting to do a full crew hangout on the beach. Now, I won't lie. Sitara might want to chew your ear off for a bit. But it's with love, right? You know, <laughs> that does sound nice. 
Thanks, man. You're buying, though. Am I? Yeah, just hurry up over there, all right? And once we get this movie out the door, you better not watch the new trailer without me. Mark it in your calendar. You, me, Devin, and Devin. I love you, man. I know.